There's been a Hollywood leftist subversion of country music, the country lifestyle in recent years. Most of it has been based on the overwhelming popularity of, well, yes, country music festivals. That's been going on for a while, but now that Hollywood is kind of desperate to glom onto a new trend, they decided that's the avenue that we're going to attack in one of the most popular television shows in recent years. Also being Yellowstone, going ahead and try to ooh, bring in through the back door the whole idea idea that these Dixiecrats are somehow emblematic of coastal leftist ideals. I don't really think so. So in order to rebuke that, you know, Jack Posobiec bringing up the Hicklib meme, which I found hilarious for a long time. And yes, being appropriately used by prominently putting Kevin Costner. I know he's doing Yellowstone. I know it's a character, but Kevin Costner in real life is, uh, I would say, a bit of an insufferable leftist. No, no, no. He, he's 1000% an insufferable leftist. Really sad to hear about your divorce. But anyways, we'll try to gatekeep things that they love. Love, something that I advocate for a lot are coming up to a bit of a resistance, but they need to do it regardless of the consequences because you can't just keep these bad faith actors honest by simply hoping that they aren't, aren't going to pervert what you love because they have an agenda coming in. I mean, it's very obvious. Let's just set this up appropriately. Dukes of Hazard star John Schneider slammed for racist Beyonce comments. Oh, Beyonce. Oh, the, the queen of pop who has since fallen off, right? Kind of funny, the person that had assumed her throne kind of went on the inverse trajectory. Starting out in country music, leaving it for the pop genre, but then you have Beyonce who was born in the pop genre, molded by it, eventually falling off not seeing the same success uh, earlier this year or was that like no no that was last year back in 2023 when both of them had dueling concert films coming out at the same time he had the eras tour taylor swift's gimmick completely and totally dominating the box office and beyonce being well real hot for you know, one day of release and then just falling off the face of the earth now just deciding to oh well there's a bunch of clueless li or hicks that are out there that i can go ahead and uh, lend my star power to her or two by just simply i don't know adding a steel guitar and then just adding a y'all at the end of my verse and all of those uh, inbreds they'll just uh, they'll they'll lap this up right no 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 if you want to if you want to hop in the genre you better put some respect on the name because for as much as modern day country music is totally and completely unlistenable to and insufferable and interchangeable you know late 90s and before like that was some good stuff real good stuff brooks and dunn alan jackson travis tritt the recently departed which really upset me because i was a big fan i actually seen him in concert toby keith that was some good stuff man and you just can't okay you just can't wander over into the country music space and think that you're gonna go ahead and uh, try to do a takeover nah 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 man especially for somebody who has been doing it somebody who is not just simply the dukes of hazard star kind of knows what he's talking about here every dog has to mark every tree right that's that's what he said and that's racist Beyonce fans are pissed at John Schneider. The actor known for his role in the 1979 TV show Dukes of Hazard has been labeled a racist after comparing Beyonce to a dog marking its territory when she put out two country-themed country tracks this month. Now, they've got to make their mark, just like a dog on a dog walk. You know, every dog, mark every tree, right? That's what's going on. What's racist about? I don't I don't get that. Schneider, 63, said while appearing on conservative media outlet One America News. The comment came after the anchor asked Schneider uh, about his thoughts on fans pressuring an Oklahoma radio station to play the single lady songstress New Country Music. Yeah, that's sad. It's like, oh yeah, you need to have quote unquote fans to go ahead and try to create this grassroots campaign that, oh, oh, these country music stations don't want to play a country song by a pop star. It's like, yeah, it's probably not any good. The lefties in the entertainment industry just won't leave any area alone, right? They have to seize control of every aspect, don't they? The host asks, or ask the host. According to Schneider, it's usually the other way around with country stars attempting to break into mainstream music. Yeah, exactly. Garth Brooks, one of the chief examples, somebody else who is a die-in-the-wall leftist, but then at the same time, you know, you can respect his music. He's still a hack at the end of the day, but, you know, hey, a very talented one. Yes, yeah, somebody who did end up 
breaking through into the mainstream. And like I previously mentioned, Taylor Swift before breaking into the mainstream in the early 2010s and transcending the genre that brought her to prominence to begin with. You know a little something about country music. Schneider, who has released several country albums asserted since making the comments, uh, Several ex-users have lambasted the actor. Really? Beyonce can do whatever the fuck she wants to do. She doesn't need your permission, John Snyder. He's not seeking it, and he's not asking for it. We can all agree that John Snyder is a hateful, ignorant jackass. The second person sneered. Really? Really, that's interesting because, okay, cool. She puts on, you know, this broke-ass cowboy hat, and then all of a sudden she deserves time on your station? I don't really think it works like that. John Schneider just went after Beyonce for peeing on his tree. That's not even what he said, okay? I don't know why you guys want to listen to music when you can't even listen to words somebody are saying. I'm here for the schooling he's about to get, said somebody who never ended up receiving schooling to begin with. Uh, John Schneider was born in New York and moved to Atlanta at age of 14. Another flan er, fan bleated just because he slapped on some Levi's and pretended to be Southern four years later for Dukes of Hazard doesn't make him an expert on what is and isn't country. He's a racist jackass is what he is. What are we doing? His job there, wic er, Wikipedia Andy, probably also didn't get to that part of his biography where he released several country music records. It's insane, right? Like, we got the examples of... Country music fans liking country music, liking that lifestyle, and then you have a bunch of leftists trying to pressure that industry to accept them. But it's one of those industries that really takes a look around, does a proper gardening to just go ahead and rip up the weeds every once in a while. And one uh, that ended up getting trimmed not that long ago was Marin Morris. You guys might remember this, where she had a public breakdown in, I think that was August or October of last year, late stages of 2023, where I'm leaving. I am absolutely done with country music because it's just full of a bunch of Trump-loving bigots. And everybody was like, bye. If you want to freak out, just Go do it over there, okay? There's a bunch of different political persuasions underneath this big tent, but if you don't like country music, just get the hell out. That's what ended up happening, and then, of course, because she was releasing an album thinking that, you know what, hey, distancing herself very publicly from her fans and her potential fan base, she thought that that would be great for her new record? What an idiot. Maren Morris says she basically finished an entire album before her life imploded. Maren Morris is writing a ton of songs as she gears up for a new era of music, especially after tossing an album's worth of songs. I feel like I'm still in the early stages of figuring the sound out, which is great. Which is, yeah, great. Somebody who at least had a serviceable career beforehand just couldn't handle people having dissenting opinions well exclusive oh exclusively while promoting a visible wireless singles awareness day campaign what i had basically a whole record done and then my life imploded no you imploded it you had your life commit seppuku okay stupid now uh, within the last year and a half morris found herself in a headline making country music feud with jason and Brittany aldean over transgender what does this have to do with music you weirdo then in october of 2023 she filed for divorce from her husband ryan heard after five years of marriage oh yeah it imploded or you just decided to take a hard left turn realizing that oh yeah um not everybody cares about these tertiary politics as much as you do and you kind of did this to yourself i'm sort of back to square one uh which is not that scary to me anymore because nothing could shake me at this point i'm in the fun stages of figuring out what my sound is oh my god but yeah yeah you had a fan base, you had a sound, you had a life, you had a career, you had a family, and you threw it all away. Why? Because you wanted to get into an industry, you wanted to cozy up to people that you thought that you could get something from. But then when you realize that, oh God, just by embracing these standard or these bog standard politics, and just because I go orange man bad and orange man supporters really bad, nobody's going to be coming and riding to my defense. I don't have enough virtue signaling boxes to check. Oh no, this is what happens. This is what happens. When chicks are just simply brought up, never told no in their entire life, told that they're great, wonderful, talented, fantastic, beautiful, everything great under the yellow sun. 
told that they can go ahead and do anything that they've ever wanted and all of their critics, they are just simply bigots, sexists, and homophobes. It doesn't matter whatever box you can check. That's the weapon. That is the shield that you can affix to yourself in order to fight back against any of those bigoted weapons that are out there. But in reality, people are looking at you as an entertainer. If you don't provide an entertaining product, they aren't going to pay attention to you for very long. And that's what's happening. And that's what Beyonce is figuring out right quick. If you don't provide an entertaining product over in country music, they're just going to look at you as the cultural vandal that you are. The simple tourist in our happy little community that you are and pay you absolutely no mind. And apathy is just as bad as hatred for these people that subscribe to the idea that everybody loves them. Everybody needs to put them on at all times. Well, I hate to tell you that not all clout is good clout and that you shouldn't let the fame go to your head. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.